Hi Capricorn, it's L here to do your weekly reading. It's a weekly reading, so the energy may resonate with you, may not. Uh, thank you to those who comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, make sure you are commenting a yes or no question below so that your question could be selected to be answered for free every Friday when I go live, okay? Also, you can get a spread just like this, a three-card spread, but four cards came out for you. Uh, a a three-card spread um, is $6.66 over at my website. Um, yes, it's 666. We're conquering the devil energy this month. This is the sixth month of the year. We're making the correct choices in regards to our life and uh, the people around us. We're no longer choosing to stay stuck, stagnant, and negative energy, but we go we're going to make better choices, okay? We're gonna conquer the devil energy. All right, so overall we have the two of diamond, king of diamond, nine of diamond, three of diamond, and the seven of, um, seven of clubs. All right, so off, some of you are dealing with someone you, you that's like third party situation uh, for my man my capricorn man and uh you may be contemplating becoming single this has been like a long-term affair like you've been dealing with this person for a while you may have abruptly cut them out but only because maybe you needed time to think about something. You know exactly how this person feels about you and what they want from you. And it might be marriage. This could be the person you're dealing with, a person. Uh, it could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I don't see it here on the board. It could be another Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um... I think you're looking at things from a different perspective. You needed time to think, to look over, to you need to be removed. Nines talk about separation, removed from the whole third party situation so that you could actually make a decision. For some of you, it's that you um you have an idea of going into more independent work, uh maybe self employment. And it and it's bothering you at your current position, your current job. Um, you've done some you've done this before or you've done some work in regards to doing something on your own you also feel like whatever you're doing is not a lot of money or it's not going to get you to where you want to be or there will always be a constant grind or a chasing of money there'll never be a, a complete um, independence or a complete complete stability in your financial sector it'll always be the rat race so you want to go you might want to go back to something you've already done uh, there's opposing conflict about it some people may not they may think you oh you're going into business for yourself it's going to be so hard you get all of this different uh opposing um opinion and um but it's your choice and no one else's you feel like you don't want to be any you don't want to be divided any longer you need to get in control of this situation by making a choice um standing your ground what it is what is it you want to do being true to you uh yeah you making a life altering choice here because you feel like the new job new business agreement contract that you sign it's not going to get you where you you really want to be not monetarily you are uh, definitely worried about or concerned with what will get you to that place of maybe the ten of pentacles or the ten of diamond uh and you you're going to need to make a judgment call in regards to what what is it you're going to do are you going to rest in thinking hoping wishing that it comes true or are you going to move are you going to take action on maybe a dream are you going to take your health wealth happiness into account or are you going to continue to worry about others are you going to go in a different direction uh, because you're discontent with what you have established thus far, um, you don't feel like it, it, it'll get any better. Uh, so, 
you also could be waiting for some money to come in here. You're waiting for a debt to be repaid to you. You may get good advice from someone. Someone in your circle. Maybe the Queen of Swords gives good advice. Whoever that may be to you. Cancer of uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's very objective and direct. Emotion is removed. It's nothing but logic and rationale. And you can kind of base. You'll have a basis. And then you can apply the emotion, if you will. Um, there might be, I don't know, um, there might be a, a shakeup. Something comes in unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, though. Some money that you're waiting for. You've, you've done the work in regards to getting this. Maybe for, or an apology from someone. You, you're wanting to partner with someone who is, um, who you're separated with, who you're, you're just a friend to. Uh, they're of two minds maybe about this, but keep going, keep going in regards to keep offering the cup because they like you, but it's just a matter of things coming together in the right time. Some of you feel like you need to get single. Like I said, you'll have success and prosperity. Um, but it's just about standing true and grounded in what it is you want for yourself. So that's what this week is pretty much about. Um, you know, you're thinking about ending something or you're at the, the, the brink of letting something collapse and moving towards something you that you feel will put you in a better path. You can do more independently. Uh, it definitely could be a career change. Um, Capricorn, uh, thank you for tuning in. If you feel like this reading resonated with you, Go over to the website and book your own three-card reading. The link is below. Um, thank you once again. Remember to stay in prayer. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Bye.